And if Hawaii's able to do it, they will do so in 3-0 and o fashion, but a tough Irvine team across the net. We're playing volleyball here on a Sunday as Alakai Todd, who has just been a revelation here in 2024, gets things started with the kill. The Hawaiian Financial FCU starting lineup scrolling at the bottom of your screen. Uh, an interesting wrinkle out there on the Irvine side, wouldn't you say, C-Mac? Two setters in the starting lineup with Brett Sheward and Joe Carlos. And it looks like Sheward is going to be hitting. He is. No William Darcy tonight. They do have this guy, though, Elir Heno, 6'8", junior lefty from Pornichet, France, leading the nation in kills, 4.58 per set. Also seventh in the country in hitting percentage, hitting 407, and one of the best serving scorers in the country. What a wrinkle David Niffen is throwing at Hawaii tonight, Unreal. putting Brett Sheward as an outside hitter and not a setter. Alakai Todd hitting from the outside, dug up back over the net. Here, G. Voss blocked back, the cover there by Huckus. And Huckus gets the set on the right side. He gets blocked. Oh, and that touch by Elaine Troy drifted over the net and pulled Spiros into the twine. So the point for UC Irvine, they were firm up front there on that sequence. Not sure that was the smartest set by Eleo Choi. Probably should have gone straight out to the left side, make an easy set, rather than a difficult side set. Max Grigorev, 6'4", sophomore from Walnut Creek, California. Serving it long, and we are tied at two apiece. Well, you mentioned the injury to Will Darcy. We just learned about it prior to first serve, David Niffen in his 12th season now having to tinker the lineup they have not been at full power yet they have not been loaded up with all of their weapons at the same time yet this season and now they're gonna have to go through this match against a very tough hawaii team also shorthanded as heno is able to plug it through that hawaii block but he is the great equalizer is he not he really is he had 60 swings the other night and uh darcy though took a, a big load off of him because Darcy has had 36 kills in this tournament. 19 one night, I think, and uh, 17 the other night. As Alakai Todd tried to curl it over the block, missed it long. No touch is called. And so UC Irvine up 4-2. Charlie Wade, 285 career victories, has his team right in a 15-match win streak. 16-1 and one coming into tonight. Chaz Galloway blocked the cover there by Choi. Chaz Galloway a second time, hovered a little bit, the dig by Sheward. So Carlos goes to Heno, and he does what he does so well. And that is that two-handed push dink through the block. He's got a bag of tricks. Uh, he not only will push it into the block, he'll push it in an open area of the court, totally befuddling most defenses. He's tough. He's a tough one, I'm telling you, on the French national team. Tough serve there by Brett Sheward. Alaka Itad able to go down the line. That was nifty. That's a shot I hadn't seen him use much his first four or five years, but now he's in his sixth year. He's wise in his old age. He's got all the shots now. So Alaka Itad with two kills. See what he's done in this tournament. He's been outstanding in that way all year. Middle set, that's Connor Campbell blocked back. Someone came into the twine. And it's going to be a Hawaii net violation. And so Irvine up three. A rare error here from Kurt Neusterer. Getting the cable there with his forearm. And here is... Heno, very difficult serve to deal with. That time dealt with pretty well by Galloway, but the back set ended up a joust above the tape. And so Alakai Todd able to cover up what was otherwise a mislocated set there by Trey Rosenthal. Well, he had to work hard for that one. Able to outduel Akil Tongutur. And now Alakai Todd will serve. Good pass there by Cole Power, middle set, that's Campbell, and it goes through the open hands of Eleu Choi. So UC Irvine appears as though they're going with the two-setter system, 
And Joe Carlos will hit in the front row, and Brett Sheward will hit when he's in the front row. This is really, this is strange, Kanoa. Nothing strange about that. Kurt Neustor pummeling that set by Tred Rosenthal, as he has done so many times already this season. Neustor averaging just under a kill per set, but he's hitting 402 on the year. And now Chaz Galloway to do the honors, the 6'3 senior from San Diego, California. Five serving seven here in the first. They go back row, it's Hanno, and he got it down in that deep corner. They will set him everywhere in the arena. Yeah, he'll get, you know, he averages, he averages getting every other set that's put up by the Irvine setters. So he gets a lot of work every single night. Ooh, Joe Carlos with the serve, and then Neustor straight down to the floor. I like these jerseys Hawaii's rocking tonight here. They got the camo look on Military Appreciation Night. This is another one. This is one you probably brought and um, steal one from the locker room, just like <laughs> the retro jerseys you've already threatened to steal. <laughs> The service line. And this was a handful from back there. He he has a, a looping diving serve, lots of top spin. Seven serving eight. One hand back set that time by Carlos, punched up in the air by Voss. Here's a D set to Todd. Two blockers waiting for him. And he lights it a flame. Even when Alakai Todd has two or three blockers up, he still is aggressive. I like that about him, his aggression. Starting opposite Will Darcy and also Nolan Flexen, who has missed the last nine matches due to injury. We are told that he is getting closer to perhaps making his way back out onto the floor. But this is a guy who, when he was playing, was averaging 3.3 kills per set, was the AVCA NAIA Player of the Year at the Masters last season. Kurt Neusterer hits a bomb from the service line. Played off the net there by Rosenthal. Hawkes couldn't get it down. Advantage here for the Anteaters. And it is Hennel from the back row. Off the platform of Todd and out of bounds. And Irvine jumps in front. But when Irvine is at some point this season, you would have to assume they will be. When they are fully staffed, they are going to be a load to deal with. Absolutely. And clearly, the, the loss of Darcy tonight is the most telling one. They haven't played with Flex in this whole tournament, but, but have, playing without Darcy tonight is uh, very unusual. A 6'10 Australian national team player not being able to play tonight, I was, I was really surprised at that development. I didn't see him get hurt the other night. Yeah, it was interesting because Nolan Flexen was healthy to start the year, as you see the exchange between Milan Zarkovic, the Niffin family. Nine serving eight as we return to action. Pass by Eliu Choi is a good one. And Gene Voss with a great swing. And we're tied at nine. Back and forth we go here in the first. This lineup that Irvine is presenting right now is going to present some mismatches, to say the least, in the front row. There's Rosenthal. Oh, got away from him. That chicken was a little overcooked. He doesn't this many, so we'll see how it develops. Maybe Hawaii might be trying too hard from behind the service line after an almost perfect night the other night. And Rosenthal comes into this match fifth in the NCAA in aces per set. And now Grigoriev with the serve. Back row, it's Galloway, and he's roofed. Connor Campbell shutting the door. His seventh block of the tournament, the 6'7 senior from San Diego, California. He's been touching everything so far in this set. Yeah, he's, he's a handful up there. Kim Bubble Mag, Fab 50 when he was in high school. Criminology major. And the serve by Gregorio goes long. Hawaii gets the three points. 
Hawaii not looking quite as sharp as we have seen in the opening set so far in this Invitational. And yet still with a chance to tie it up in this early stage yeah, of set yeah, one. They were so good on Friday night, it was scary. It's almost like this is like, play, save this game from May, don't play it in, <laughs> in early March. Tough serve there by Hawkes. So it's Davis Lau will make that cool power with the serve, uh, the set. Hawaii will play it back, and Alaka Ita, good sliding save there by Power. Heno from off the net. Pancake save, Hawkes. Voss with the set. Galloway gets it home. Here's the pancake to pop it up right there by Hawkes. Nice set from G. Voss. Well-formed block, Chaz Galloway gets around it. Looks like there's gonna be a challenge, possibly. Yeah. David or more Niffen. blood in the court, who knows? David Niffen holding the challenge paddle. And I think he'd be challenging possibly the, uh, the pancake. We have uh, Wayne Lee They're still looking down at the Terraflex. I'm not sure if there's still some blood trickling on the playing surface. But there also is a challenge. It's regarding the center line team. And they're also tending to the center line tape. It looks like the tape may have come undone. And so I think we're going to have to call upon the big boss himself, Rich Sheriff, the arena manager. He's going to uh, make everything right. So they were tending to that. David Niffen was holding the challenge paddle, so I'm not sure if we're going to have the official challenge now. A lot going on here so far in this match. We've had blood on the playing surface, uh, late scratches due to uh, injuries. We've got two setters uh, in the starting rotation. <laughs> Never a dull moment. See Dixon Chun, the uh, upper ref, the R1. Wayne Lee down on the floor. He'll do the reviews. And then Mark Nakashima and Randy Rubinall are the two line judges. Uh, it was also a, a cool gesture by David Niffen to have Davis Lau introduced in his fifth year with the UCI program. A 5'7 grad student, libero out of Punahou School, one of two Punahou guys actually on the roster. Aiden Rigg is a freshman who uh, Coach Niffen has a lot of high hopes for. Uh, in the future for his career. But uh, cool, Davis Lau uh, coming through this way. One of the last times. They'll be here for the Big West Conference Tournament as well, but uh, making sure that Davis uh, gets some love from the Hawaii fans. Yeah, that was a nice gesture by David Niffen. Davis has been a, a big part of this program. He's the, uh, the backup libero, and they call him the mayor. He kind of runs <laughs> everything. You know, he runs the show. I think he organizes all the, the parties, the get-togethers. Yeah, that was great. When you greeted David Niffen on our uh, Zoom call earlier uh, <laughs> this week, you said, uh, hey, uh, where's the mayor? How's the mayor doing? He said, oh, the mayor's sitting in the uh, back of the van right now. They were they were in the van maneuvering through town. Oh, yeah. Davis's dad, Alan, played for me back in the late 70s. And he went to Santa Barbara. Wife, Carol, also a big, a big Davis fan. So while Rich Sheriff and company were uh, patching up the Terraflex, you had Wayne Lee performing the review. The call stands. It's a point for Hawaii. An assist for G. Voss. And another kill for Chaz Galloway. Spiritos Hakas now to serve. 11-11 here in set one. Back set goes to Sheward, and he is blocked. Good cover there by Power. 
And then the power from the middle swing of Connor Campbell. So, well, so sure we'll get a set once in a while, but rarely. Connor and, and Heno will be getting most of the action. Nice dig up there by Power to keep the ball alive. And Galloway blasts it to that deep corner. He went a few extra floors up the elevator shaft that time. Chaz has been playing some good volleyball, especially passing and digging. He's been really good. His swing here getting better and better from the outside. Middle said Campbell dug up over the net and out by Guillermo Boss. Well, Campbell's hitting percentage this season, 427. A big number there for a middle. 13 serving, 12. Heno, that one popped straight up by Huckus. And then Rosenthal out to Galloway. Heno with the save along the back line. Power with the bump set to Heno. A little touch shot. Easy save there for Galloway. Backside, Todd. Oh, he had to approach that one quickly. The set was a little low. Tom Gator dug up over the net by Troy. Advantage Irvine. Heno from the back row block. He gets his own cover. Shuey goes left side, Tonga Tour, two-hand save there, Rosenthal, here's Todd, roll shot, drops! He took a page out of the Galeer Heno handbook. We haven't seen that shot much from Alakai Todd this year at all. The changeup, the roll shot. He mostly goes 100% all the time, but tonight we've seen him have two win a couple of jousts, and he's got that roll shot. So we're tied at 13. Hawaii hitting 364. Irvine hitting 500, yet to commit a hitting error. Here's Tongu Tour off the bump set, got blocked. Shuey goes middle, Campbell blocked. Now power, high ball, bump set, tight to the net. The joust is won by Hawaii. Set from power from deep, deep in the court. Bumps it up there for Tonga Tour to go up, and he just gets snuffed by a three man block. Nowhere to go. And so the first hitting error of this set for Irvine. 14 serving 13. Todd. Pass there by power. Middle set. Campbell block. Punched up by Shuey. Here's Tonga Tour from off the net. The dig there by Todd. Here's Hockett from the back row through the block. The two-hand save power. Irvine on the attack. Heno, roll shot. Slowed down by Neuster. He knuckles it into the air. Galloway off the hands. Tonga Tour the save. We play on. Campbell down the line and in. What an exchange. Both sides playing some great volleyball. Keeping the ball alive with some good digging. And there's a terrific shot by Connor. Picking up kill number five already. No errors. He's hitting the mirror 625 for the night. Entered the match at 361 in the tournament. Here is Connor Dom. 6'4. Red shirt junior from Truckee, California in his fourth year with the program. He will jump serve. Passed by Hawkus. Rosenthal high and away. Galloway had to adjust the left hand tip. Now we got a joust above the net again. And it's Gregoriev able to go off of Neuster and out to get Irvine the point. And that one. Connor Dom with the serve. Sliding pass there by Choi. D goes to Todd. He comes with that broad jump approach. That's set by Rosenthal. A little off the mark. Good dig by Heno. Tongu Tur two hands it over. So the big advantage here for Hawaii. D set Todd against a solo block. Goes off the hands and down for another kill. Alakai Todd with six put downs. He's hitting over 400. He's playing some solid volleyball right now. Look at the stats from, from Irvine. 19 of their 28 sets have gone to two people. Connor Campbell and Hilir Heno. I think we'll see a lot more action with Darcy out, flexing that in the lineup. 
Tongatour struggling right now, yet to get a kill. Here's Keone Thim. Crowd always gets a little bit buzzy when he's in to serve. Made sure he got it in that time. Middle set to Gregoria. Good diving save there by Todd. Thim sets up Hakas. Three blockers up, and he's able to tool it. Hawaii, back in the lead. That's the first kill for Spiros. Watch this play by Alakani Todd at 6-9, going to the floor like it's his friend, keeping the rally alive, and Spiros does the rest. Yeah, that one plinkoed in that triple block and wound up out of play. Hawkes averaging 4.8 kills, hitting 595 in this tournament. Tonga Tour, three blockers up, and they eclipse the sun. The blocker's got a credit for the block, but how about Sione Thim just ripping that serve for a pregame height, wouldn't you say? Meanwhile, Keone Thim Hyping up the crowd as he gets ready to serve. Gets it in. Heno with a perfect pass. Middle set. Gregoria, what a dig by Choi. Thim from the back row. Diving save there by Sheward. Tongutor over the block. And in. What a shot that time by Akil Tongutor. Finally takes up his first kill. He does it in a very, I thought, fantastic fashion. He goes up. He's two blockers up. He just cuts it back across his body and down. Todd. Oh, there was just one blocker against him. It was a kill tongue tour. And good luck the way this guy is grooving these days. That's a bit of a mismatch. Six eight Todd. Tonga tour went and took his line, giving the cross court wide open. Well, I'll cut you, Todd. Fourth nationally in hitting percentage coming into this match. Hitting 438 on the year. We showed you his numbers in the tournament, hitting 640 coming into tonight. Gregoriev, oh, that was a hammer. Gregoriev is one guy who, in my opinion, has been the steadiest player other than Heno on this UCI team. Every night he's putting up big numbers. He's hitting 309 for the year, but I think he's hitting over 400 for the tournament. Yeah, 472 coming into this match in the outrigger. Overpass that time by Finn. Carlos going outside, it's Heno. And just dunks it to the middle of that Hawaii defense. And we're tied at 18. Charlie Wade having a conversation. I think he's going to challenge something on the play. Was it a foot fault on the serve by Tonga Tour? That angle would lead you to believe that it very well could have been. How does Charlie see that from so far away? Yeah, that was immediate. He must have the eyes of an eagle. <laughs> To be able to tell. I think I think it's okay. I don't think you touch any white. There are some other camera angles that we don't have access to that the officials do via the DV Sport replay system. That looks really close. It does. We're talking millimeters here. Hawaii well, hitting 335 CMAC. They've committed two hitting errors, just one service error. And yet it feels like they aren't putting together the, the kind of rhythmic performance that we've seen here the previous two nights in the Outrigger Invitational. That's how high the standard has been that they've set for themselves. <laughs> That's right. But what you came into this match in the Outrigger the previous two nights hitting 453 with 18 total aces, 17 and a half total blocks, and they had only been aced twice. And this is against the 14th and the number one ranked team in the country. Good. Both of those good teams that Hawaii's put up those numbers on. It's uh, pretty amazing. I was that Friday night match against GCU, the number one team in the country. I was in awe of the performance, especially from the behind the service line. Unbelievable. Putting pressure on the antelopes all night long and, and doing it consistently. Not many errors and just hitting with pace and in. Well, 
Charlie Wade mentioned, hey, look, this week is an opportunity for us to learn about ourselves, whether the incredible production, the incredible numbers we've been putting up here in the first segment of the season, tops in the nation hitting percentage, tops in aces, whether or not those were more of an aberration because we're going up against such high quality competition. The thing is, those numbers have only gone up the previous two nights of this invitation. I know, it's amazing. He's gotta be pleased with the first two nights at least. I'm not sure if she's real pleased with, you know, the, the first 36 points of this match though. He's probably not too pleased it appears by how long this review is taking either. So there's an angle, you can kind of see it on the monitor, not something that we yeah. have, that's from the other side of the arena. And so a static camera there, and Wayne Lee going back and forth trying to see if he can tell conclusively whether or not there was a foot foul. There was not one called on the floor, that's the challenge coming from Charlie Wade, and so it has to be conclusive in order to be able to flip the call. You know, Hilaire Hano's over talking to the R1 right now. Hilaire's from Europe, where they have replay systems that are um, many more cameras and more pixels more frames per second he's used to fast challenges being done in a second yeah you see some of the players now starting to stretch out a little bit get themselves loose and warm hard to stand around with these kinds of pauses how about the crowd tonight yeah it looks like I, I would say we got, there's a good solid 7,000. Yeah. Maybe pushing eight. Great turnout here on a Sunday for the final of the Outrigger Invitational. No conflict with baseball today because uh, baseball played earlier, and I believe they were victorious, correct? Yeah. They steamed rice? Yeah, they, uh, they fried rice. Right. We're the first one to make those jokes. <laughs> All right, so the call will stand. Not enough evidence to overturn it. I think you can tell what Charlie thinks about that. We're tied for the 10th time here in this first frame. Tom Latour loops it over, pass by Finn. Middle set, Voss! Pass by Kelly Finn to get it all started, and then Rosenthal delivering a money set to Voss. The Hawaii inches ahead here, 19 serving 18. Tread Rosenthal with the serve. Outside it's Heno, tried to touch it off the block. Scrambling on the Hawaii side of the net. Now the roll shot by Todd, diving save by Power. High ball set, Heno. There's Rosenthal off the fingertips of the block, so Finn, high ball set to Hawkes, three blockers waiting, they're able to slow it down. Carlos going to Gregorev and got just enough to go off of Alakai Todd's block and out for an Irvine point. Check out this dig from Cole Power, the former UCLA player, transferred to UCI. He kept that rally alive. They gave Gregor a chance to get the final kill. 19 off. How about that pass by Choi? Here's Foss. And that one too hot to handle for Tom Latour, even though he was in position for the save. That was a really good pass by Leo Choi, as you noted. Steals on the third. He goes down low, keeps it in front of him, puts it right in the money for Rosenthal. Boss now with three kills on four swings. Hawkes to serve. That one tickles the tape. One hand punching pass there, Tonga Tour. Tenno just rising above and finding the open spots on the floor. He makes it look so simple. One of the things he does is he draws a back row player up because he has so many, he has so many great tip shots. You see Rosenthal sneaking up there, which leaves a wide open area one back in the back court. And uh, he just knows how to find it. Brilliant, brilliant player. Very intelligent. Brett Sheward with the serve. Backside, it's Todd. Eno was able to get a good piece of that on the block. Here's Finn from off the net. Tried to go deep corner. Power with the save. 
High ball bump set. It's Hemel again. He's got nine kills, no errors here in this match. And we're still in set one. You know, the, Hawaii is going to signal for a timeout. You know, at the end of the season, Cano, you know, I think the NC2A leader might... An All-American honorable mention at that position, but he wanted to set. That was what was always in his DNA. And gets the opportunity in Irvine, makes the save there. And now Heno, that was a full swing, slowed down by the block. Choi, jump set to Todd over the block. Two-hand save, Tonga Tour. Here's Heno, the tip, rejected! first error of the night. Yes, sir. And so Kevin Calling now enters into the match to serve for Hawaii. Tightly contested first frame. Pass by Powers, great one. And Heno hammering. Ten kills in set one for Ilir Heno. <laughs> Amazing. You think he can breathe a sigh of relief when he goes to the back row? Oh, no. He gets just as many kills from the back as he does from the front. And now, Heno, who is as dangerous a server as anybody around. Pass by Choi. Here's Todd. And that one almost scraped the scoreboard above off of the dig. And then Tom Retour denied access. Todd jumping up next to Nusserer. Yes, that was a big point for Hawaii. Had they gone down 21-23, it would have been a tough road to hoe to get to 25. 22 all. Heno from the back row. Wrist away shot, yet another variation. He's got 11 kills. He has been a monster. And has not repeated one shot yet. 23 serving 22. Bump set goes to Todd. He's blocked and roofed. Grigorev in the thick of things. And it's Aloha ball for Irvine in set one. This is very non-traditional, what's going on right now. The Joe Carlos in front, he's about, you know, it's a six-foot blocker up front, if that. This is the smallest blocking lineup that, that um, Irvine can offer right now. That pass drifting tight to the net. What a set! And the associated clobbering of the ball by Kurt Neustor. Oh, Rosenthal, it helps to be as tall as he is to be able to go and get those 50-50s. 23 serving 24 remains Aloha ball for Irvine. Thin to serve. A good serve. Back row, Heno the tip. Diving save by Choi winds up out of play. And Irvine gives Hawaii its first set defeat in this year's Outrigger Invitational. Passing was a little off, so they couldn't really run a, you know, the kind of offense that Tred Rosenthal would like to run. We'll see if they can get it all back together and see if the coaching staff put some plans together here for this second set. Yeah, some location issues in different stretches in that first set for Tread as well. He will get things started from the service line, but he sends it long. That is the second service error for Hawaii. And so Maxim Grigorev getting ready to serve here for UC Irvine. You talked about it. David Niffen says, hey, look, outside of Ilir Heno, Max is probably our best all-around player. He can do it all. He's played outside, opposite, middle. Look at that. G. Voss caught it in the sweet spot. Awesome. I like that one. <laughs> and he's in the corner coming through with their they always clever do. signs. They always do. Four kills for Voss. Here's Spiros. Oh, that was a heavy. 
heavy heater. Schuert has to chase down the second touch. Carlos lobs it over. Voss again, paint brushed it, but got it down anyway. That was a big time whip right there. Even he will admit that. <laughs> the Brazilian flags show up. That thing had backspin on it. Hey, it shows up the same in the box score. That's right. His fifth That's kill. Right. He's hitting 714 here, two serving one. Here's Heno, dug up by Hawkes. Rosenthal has to play it off the net. And it goes to nowhere. And so Elir Heno getting back to business. He's got 13 kills. First team AVCA All-American last year. Average 3.46 kills per set. He also had 87 aces a season ago. That is the single season UC Irvine record and the second most all time in NCAA men's volleyball. Yeah, he's uh, he's just amazing from beyond the service line. Hawaii is luckily so far for Hawaii. They've, they've gotten him out of uh, his rotation. Only one serve each time, but normally he has, he serves in bunches. Here's Thim. to the chief boss that time to the Thin Reaper in action. The only Thim getting the opportunity here. You see his season statistics hitting 368. Had that big match against Tusculum, if you recall, 14 kills. It's 722. Alakai Todd somehow came up with that save. And it's Shuey who saves it on the Todd swing. Tip shot, Heno, good chase down there by Fim. Middle set, Neusterer. It rattles around on the Irvine side. Carlos going outside to Shuey. Two-hand save, Hawkes, Rosenthal to Todd. It was a little low, so he had to just soft touch it over. Heno off the block and down. Irvine just staying with it. Great patience by the Ant Eaters. Just staying really high, per, playing really high percentage volleyball until I can probably get a ball to Heno, and then it's pretty much Heno the Hammer taking over. Here is Heno the Hammer behind the service line. Hammers it into the string, and Hawaii gets the free point. Well, when Brett Sheward transferred to UC Irvine, it was in hopes of earning the starting setter position. I'm not sure uh, if he had in mind that he'd also be playing some outside hitter <laughs> against his former team. I think, he's, I think he's enjoying every minute of it. We see his parents. Right, Sean and Leanne in the house. Tonga Tour. He's the Swiss Army Knife for this Irvine squad. Just filling in gaps. A guy who has played all over the floor. He was used as a libero back in 2021. Was all freshman in 2020 as an outside hitter. He's plug and play. Yeah, he can do it. Same with Gregorov. He does the same thing. He plays all the positions. Advantage now, Irvine off the overpass. Tong Tour. Oh, he's feeling good now. Tong Tour with three kills. And Irvine vaults ahead. And again, what caused that was a errant Hawaii pass. Let's see if he pass a little better here. I thought the ball was out. Back row, Hawkins. That was a laser beam off the palm of Spiros Hawkins. I think Hawkins has got to get set a lot more as this match goes on. So Finn now to serve. Oh, that's a good one. What a pass by Power. Outside the set, though, drifts out of play. That might have been the pass of the tournament right there. Hawkins just ripped his serve, probably close to 70, maybe 65. And that guy right there, Cole Power, just popped it up and put it right where the setter didn't even have to move. Just stood there and set the offense. Six serving five. It's them going to bring the heat again. Took a little something off that time. Carlos gets pulled off the net. Tongu Tour, the tip shot. Oh, Hawkes was right there for the save, but it goes off of Neusterer, who was trying to punch it up. 
And it goes down for another kill for Akil Tonglatour. If Nestor had not touched it, Spiros Hawkins was right there to get it. Fred Sheward with the serve. Outside, it is Hawkins blocked by Carlos, and then on to Rosenthal, as if it was drawn up. There's going to be a question right here on whether or not Hawaii went under the net on the previous play of that. Let's see if uh, Nithin's going to challenge or not. Well, he's talking to Wayne Lee right now. No challenge, it appears. Wayne Lee let him know there was not an interference in that under line call. So seven serving six, it's a new stewart. That's a good serve. In fact, it's an ace. Well, Kurt has brought the lumber here to the arena tonight. He's got three kills, a couple of them emphatic, three blocks, and how about now two service aces for Kurt? Oh. A little too much lumber. Too much lumber. Got under that a little bit. Him tight to the net, one hand set, Voss. And the improv works for the Rainbow Warriors. Let's see whether or not Rosenthal is over the net or whether Voss is over the net. One of those two plays is going to be called. Looks like Wayne Lee's discussing with Nixon Chung to find out if, in fact, one of those two players was over. We'll take a little the net cam will show us right here. No, that ball's 50-50, and that ball's 50-50. Yeah, that looked good from that angle. If they got challenged, he's going to lose the challenge, I'll tell you that, according to that camera angle. So we will play on. Hawaii gets the point. Voss gets the kill. He has six. With no errors hitting 750. And now Tred Rosenthal will serve. Three-time Big West Conference Freshman of the Week. What a serve it was. Out of system here. Bump set goes to Heno. Sliding save there by Choi. Here, Todd blocked right back into his lap. Elir Heno doing everything here this evening in Manor. He is a one-man wrecking crew tonight. And Seth Rosenthal. Look how Todd gets a good swing at it, but just too much ant eater block. Gregorev with the serve. Rosenthal had to chase that one down. Todd blocked the cover by Hawkes. Voss joust above the tape. Shuey, jump set, Heno off the block and into the pin. He can do no wrong. He's got 15 kills. One error in 26 swings. He's got his Superman cape on right now as we speak. Question is, will his arm hold up all night? Rosenthal has to chase down that second touch. Set tight to the antenna, and it's going to be a net violation called against Spiros Hakas. Irvine gets the point, and they lead 10-9. Things just a little ragged on the Hawaii side of the net. That's an overpass. Shuey goes middle to Campbell blocked. Here's Carlos going middle to Campbell, blocked and roofed. Going to be a double contact call. David Niffin arguing the point. So interesting to see the two setters 
sort of rotating back and forth. You had Shuey with one set to Campbell, and then he came up with the cover after the first block, and then Carlos with the second set to Campbell. And they called the double contact there, C-Mac. What would you see? Yeah, I thought it wasn't double. It looked like it rolled up his arm in the first one. Floor captain Elir Heno getting clarification from Dixon Chung. And the crowd growing more and more impatient here with some of these lengthy officiating discussions. <laughs> so the booze turn into uh, uproarious applause. <laughs> and we're tied at 10. Oh my goodness. A smoke show from Hawkus. Heno blocked the road. Oh, he is human. Olakai Todd in the middle of things on the Hawaii side of the net. Manoa Roofing Company. Reporting what for a, duty. What a sort of tongue to Just had to get out of the way. And there, Voss and Alakai Todd putting that back in his face. That was 69 miles an hour. It felt and looked faster than that. Rosenthal to Voss. Blocked. Punched up in the air by Hawkins. How about that set by Rosenthal? Thim is dug up by Sheward. Over the net. Voss deposits it. Championships in 82 and 83. Sure, pushing that set quickly out to that pin. And Heno able to do what he has done now 16 times. Get it home for a UC Irvine point. Do you think Shuey always knows where Heno is? I would say it's a safe bet. And if he doesn't, shame on Shuey. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Thim. Oh, he jousted with his former teammate there above the net. Heno, tip shot. Easy pickings there for Choi. Back row, Hawkins, his tip snipped out by Carlos. Heno blocked. Cover there by Cole Power. Shuey right back to Heno. And he missed the floor wide. That time got a little too cute with it. And the crowd, extra boisterous as they cheer a rare error by Elir Heno. He has a connection to the, the UH men's volleyball team through his fellow Frenchman. That's right, Louis Sapinoto as Kevin Colling serves it into the twine. Both hailing from France, playing some uh, youth international level volleyball together. They, according to Louis, have known each other for 10 years. Yeah. And Louis said if he gets into the game, he will not be speaking English to him. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be all French. 12-7-13. Good pass there by Hawkes. Back row, Spanos. Oh my goodness gracious. Grease, lightning, and thunder. And this was something else. Even Gregorov, who's a very versatile middle blocker, could not get there in time. So Spiros now showing some signs here of awakening in this second frame. 14 serving 12. Todd sends it across. Tommy Torres kind of a push swing that time. Dug up by Choi and Alakai Todd jumped too early and still found the floor. To 15 first. It doesn't always have to look. And Rainbow Wahine water polo falling to Cal 9 8. Hawaii with a big matchup with USC coming up shortly. And Zalakai Todd serves it out out of the timeout. Hawaii now with five service errors compared to three for UC Irvine. And Connor Dom. Subbing in to serve and just waiting for a volleyball. <laughs> Surprised that he didn't get a chance to be an outside hitter tonight. Interesting, you're right. He's, uh, 
6-4. And they like him in there as a serving sub, that's for sure. Free chance here for Irvine. Gregorov is dug up by Hawkes. Rosenthal outside. Fim! Oh, what a cover by Troy just to keep the sequence alive. Gregorov is blocked in off. A wave of the finger by Kurt Neustor, who was up there next to Tred Rosenthal. Troy. One handed, just a stab at the ball a little quickly. That's one of the things that Leo does best. He's got quick hands, quick reflexes. Kurt Neuster with four blocks here in this match. Hawaii has seven as a squad. 16 serving 13. A good one by Thim. Oh, the set off the mark. A free chance here for Hawaii. Rosenthal back row Thim. The tip sniffed out by Shuey. Tango Tour had the soft touch it over. And then over on two goes Tread. And the largest lead of set two for the Bows. UC Irvine knew that was coming. They had people there in line, but just could not put it down. That came over a little bit too quickly from Tread. Great shot. And we're going to have well, no challenge. It was a long discussion. David Niffen talking with Wayne Lee. I think he may have had a few words to say, thinking that Tred Rosenthal guided that ball over. That was a fiery serve there by Thim. Shuey with the swing, Thim the save. Rosenthal outside, Hawkes up the ladder. Hand down the shoot, it goes. And Irvine signals demolished couple of serves that he had. See his offensive numbers also has five digs and a block. Keone Finn serving out of the timeout. Sends it out. Hawaii had been on a 5-1 run. And now Brett Sheward will serve. The grad transfer from Newport Beach, California, pursuing his Masters of Finance at UCI. And I happen to love the beard, by the way. Yeah. Predictably. Being a fellow beardy. Hawkes. And he got the touch. Spiro starting to groove a little bit. Five kills for him. You got two players on the floor who are most certainly in the conversation for National Player of the Year to this point in the season. With Spiro's Hawkes on the Hawaii side and Elir Heno on the Irvine side. I would 100% agree. Shuey going to Grigorev. How about that quick snap of a swing by Max Grigorev. Shuey just fearlessly setting that 31 set. Oh my goodness, from like the 12-foot line. Make that 13-foot line. Hawaii's block completely off guard. Good pass there by Thim. Voss blocked the cover by Rosenthal. So Thim high balls it to Todd. Three blockers up. And it doesn't matter. Alakai oh, continues his winning ways. He just finds a way to get through, over, around, blocks, two man, three man, doesn't matter. What a year he's having. So happy for him. Six years, he's been waiting his time. Finally got his chance. Nine kills for him. He leads Hawaii. Shuey going quickly outside to Heno. Oh, that was an absolute bomb, but he missed the court wide. Point Hawaii, they're up six. Rare error for Mr. Heno. Well, that uh, got that courtside front row. <laughs> got them shaking in their boots a little bit. 21 serving 15. Grigorev. Nice little connection there, Shuey and Grigorev. David Niffen pointing out, hey look, we have had guys who are playing positions or playing at the Division I level of NCAA volleyball for the first time this year. He said, hey look, Shuey, he was a setter obviously, but it's been a long time since he has been a full-time setter. Will Darcy was waiting in the wings behind Francesco Sani last year. As Hawkes tried to cut it cross court and missed it wide. Point for UC Irvine. Front row sub right now for Irvine. A freshman who hasn't played much this year at all. And 
Andong Kiriakou playing front row for Joe Carlos. Yeah, in fact, his first appearance of the season. Well, what you got a system. Oh, that back bump set goes over the net. Shuey goes middle. Connor Campbell dug up by Thim. Rosenthal to Hakas over a double block, punched up in the air by Grigorev. Heno gonna try to time it. And he misses the floor, but gets the touch. Irvine creeping back in to within three. And Charlie Wade's gonna signal for a timeout. Here, Max Grigorev. He's the guy that uh, I voted on for my all-tournament team. He's just such a great all-around player. He's played opposite, played uh, middle. He's played on the outside. Jack of all trades. 18 serving 21 out of the timeout. Here's Hakas. And he gets it down. It was one on one. The two player of the year candidates meeting above the net that time. And Hakas winning that round. That was fun to watch that. Two guys eyeball to eyeball right there. Twenty two serving 18. Hawkes made sure he got it in that time. Campbell! It returns to sender. Chaz Galloway reinserted back into the game. I think he was in on that block as well. Yeah, he jumped in there and helped out G Voss. That's now eight total team blocks for Hawaii in this match. Hawkes putting a little extra chili pepper water on that serve. Here's Heno. And just right through the wall of hands put up by Hawaii. That was a pretty big block, too. 6'9", Antonio Todd. 6'7", Givas. They both almost three blockers up. And the handle finds way to go high hands, deep. Goes just how high to hit it, too, to catch a finger or two. And so here is Andin Kiriakou. 6'2", freshman from... Ajax Northwest Ontario. Also, Davis Lau on the floor. The Punahou alum in his fifth year with the program. 19 serving, 23. And Hawaii has a little ball here in the second. And look at this crowd standing up. C-Mac, I know you love that. Well, they're going to find some way to light a fire under this Rainbow Warrior team. The Warriors are going up against this unorthodox. Yeah, that's the kind of match it has felt like. Yeah. A bit disjointed. Hawaii trying to close Try. the deal, though, here in set two. Carlos backside. Heno, deep touch. Gets down. But a net violation is called against Irvine. And Hawaii. Counter Campbell will get a few more sets. Gregorov will get a more sets. And clearly, Tonga Tour. Who's hitting 077 right now? We'll get some more sets. Set three underway. It's Hakas getting the first set on the Hawaii side. And he has found his groove here. Seven kills now for him. Had just the one kill in set one. The Spiro step in game here since. Yeah, he only got five attempts in the first set. He got ten in the second set. My guess in this third set, he'll be set as much as Rosenthal can get it to him. Speaking of Rosenthal, he serves. Middle set, Grigorev, swiping dig there by Thim, keeps the sequence alive. And then Thim gets airborne to try to fight off that Heno hit. But it ends up in a Lear Heno kill. Good effort there by Tread, trying to chase down the second touch. Kill number 19 for Heno. Well, if you're just joining us, you see Irvine playing shorthanded. Will Darcy, they're starting opposite. He was hitting 400, averaging 3.6 kills per set through this tournament. A late scratch due to an injury. They're also still without Nolan Flexen, dynamic outside hitter who has missed the last nine matches. This is the 10th, in fact, that he's been out with an injury. Good recovery there by Hawkes off the touch. Little joust above the tape. Cover there by Choi. Here's Hakas again, blocked back. Finn on the scene. Rosenthal going right back to Spiros. Roll shot off the block, and then it goes table tennis atop the net. Back on the Hawaii side. Here's Hakas. Blocked and roofed. Oh, man, what a rally. What great hustle by Connor Campbell there. He was there late. But even the late block sometimes 
It was a good one. There's Campbell getting there late. You see that he closed the seam. Not easy to block Spiros Hawkins for Connor Campbell. Hats off to you, man. That was a great hustle. Yeah, Hawkins getting a multitude of tries there. It's a lot of vaulting on one sequence. We haven't seen the big set in, in a while. I'm surprised to see that. Maybe we'll see Rosenthal set a little more out of the back row, either to Johnny Pham or Hawkins or if Chaz Galloway, if he comes back in. Coming back to Irvine, though, due to the injuries and unorthodox rotation here for David Niffen, where he has his two setters, Joe Carlos and Brett Sheward, out on the floor, and each lining up as hitters when they're in the front row. What a serve there by Grigorev. Out of system, it's Todd. Tried to lay into it, sends it out. Point for Irvine. And David Niffen telling us this week, he said, hey, look, we don't have the traditional a side versus B side dynamic in the gym. We just don't have that kind of depth. Our roster isn't full of those kinds of players to be able to even that dynamic out in the practice gym like some of the other top ranked teams in the country. It's part of the reason why you're seeing the 6 2 system going on right now. Todd with the swing. Dug up back over the net. Played by Troy as he was straddling the sideline. Here's Voss. That set a little low. Saved by Shuey. Penno is blocked. Covered there by Carlos. Should we go in middle to Campbell? One hand save, thin long run for Rosenthal. He got there, but to no avail. And he takes a few extra moments laying face down on the Terraflex. Crowd applauding the effort, but also sitting uneasy as Irvine is off to a 4 1 lead here in the third. Gotta give a lot of credit to this scrappy, resourceful, and eater team. And that serve goes wide, Hawaii gets bailed out there. Yeah, uh, Irvine, they don't have any service aces, but they've been applying pressure from the service line. Uh, they are getting out blocked by Hawaii, two to one, and yet their block has gotten a slew of touches throughout this match. So they've been effective, even if the statistics wouldn't necessarily tell those stories. As Heno, look how high up he gets. That point of contact is way up in there. Yeah, he's got he's got a, a good vertical and he reaches high. Well, 20 kills for Elia Heno, the flying Frenchman. And we're gonna have a foot foul. Well, Charlie challenged for a foot foul earlier in the match. No challenge needed that time as Joe Carlos stepped on the end line. Let's take a look. That one looks pretty obvious. G. Voss serving for Hawaii. Outside it goes. No blockers up. It is Brett Sheward for the kill. I guarantee you the strategy there was leave Sheward alone because we've got to worry about these other players and Sheward's not an outside hitter by nature. <laughs> He's making a name for himself now though. And Heno sends it out. So Heno yet to get really calibrated from the service line, fortunately from Hawaii's perspective. And now Alaka Itad taking the trek back behind the end line to serve. Four serving six. See the service error numbers. Hawaii with a pair of aces, both courtesy Kurt Neustewer. Overpass forced there by Power. Outside, it's Thim down the line and in. Oh, he packs a punch, doesn't he? It was hard to see where that landed. It happened so fast. That definitely does that land in. Right on the white line. And we talk about Alaka Todd biding his time, waiting in the wings. Keone Thim's done a semblance of that as well. Absolutely. Backside, no blockers up, and sure right now, it's hitting lines for him. He may not be an outside hitter by trade, but if there are no blockers in the area, that's one way to make it work. I guarantee you, this was a strategy by Irvine to counter what Hawaii's doing. Hawaii's saying, oh, let's not worry about a right side presence of UCI. Let's just go out to the middle and to the, and to the Irvine's left side. 
and we will uh, focus our attention there. And as soon as the attention's got focused there, whoops, here comes Shuey bearing the last two hits. And this is not what the fans were anticipating with the return of Brett Short. But Irvine up two, outside it's Thim, tried to go two hands, and Brett Sheward with the rejection. Is he going for MVP or what? What's going on here? You can solve that one. Rosenthal, D set to Todd, blocked, but it goes beyond the end line. Gets the point, kill number 10 for Alaka Itad. I think, I think Ryan Shuji uh, really expressed it well when he said there's frustration going on on the rainbow side of the court. Yeah, interesting moment there. You had Wayne Lee going over to the Irvine bench warning them to not creep onto the playing surface so far and in fact was sort of coming to the defense of a fan sitting at the end of that front row as Keone Finn just fires a BB. Can't see the radar gun, but I guarantee you that was 70 plus on that one. It was such a rocket, the radar gun, it's just hanging there. It's off kilter. <laughs> that was another speedy effort. Bump set, here's Shuey. Saved by Choi. Outside, Huck us up the elevator shaft. Six with the Greek letters SP Big Spiro six. That's eight serving eight. Keone Fim out of the timeout sends it across. Middle set Gregor at the tip. Good save there. Neusterer. Right back to Neusterer goes Rosenthal. Pinballed around on the Hawaii side. Rosenthal with the swing and the kill. Oh, what a work play. By Craig Rosenthal. Oh, my. Hawaii has scored the last four. Block just didn't even get time to get up. They were surprised by that. Wow. Another explosive serve and miscommunication on the Irvine side. So the Kyoto Finn can disrupt a passing formation in a heartbeat. Grandpa Mike, Grandpa, Grandma Kule, got to be proud. They're probably watching from somewhere, right from Hilo, maybe. Mike Walton and Kule. Two aces for Kyoto Finn. Enter this match 12th in the NCAA in aces per set. And just adding to it. Service line. And David Niffen has already used one timeout. I think he's waiting for the media timeout to use the second one to cool off this hot server. 11 serving eight. Still dotting it from the service line. And then the block on I think this, you should have all four guys back there, but just my opinion. This guy has completely changed the vibe here in this third set. Took a little something off that time. Carlos going outside, and it's an out hit there by Tungu Tur. No touch. Point for Hawaii, but David Niffen is immediately grabbing the challenge paddle. I think there was a touch. Kurt Neusterer, who was uh, very honest in the first night of this tournament and admitted to a touch in that match against Lewis, uh, mums the word seemingly on the Hawaii side this time around. I want you to watch. Let's see. 
Uh, hard to tell there. It would be Rosenthal who challenged that Tonga Tur. Yeah. He quickly ran into the huddle. I didn't see any fingers bend back, did you? Usually you see a finger bend back or you see the flight of the ball change. Oh, I think yeah, you might have got it right I think, there. I think you're right. You yeah. know, when you got frying pans for hands, it's hard <laughs> to not get a touch. But I think you're right. Yeah, he got, he got it. Yeah, you can see his, his uh, left ring finger and pinky. I think they both got bent back. But we have thought in past iterations that we have seen things that have not correlated with the uh, ultimate conclusion sometimes on these replay challenges. Well, I watch your basketball calls. I, I notice you get pretty much 100% of the replays right. Volleyball going on the road, Long Beach State. Ooh. And so what you start Big West play. And they are going to reverse the call and call the touch. And so Tonga Tur gets the kill, Irvine gets the point. But uh, how are you, how will you be uh, taking in the Long Beach State matches next week? On TV. I'll be watching ESPN Plus, I think. They have it on. Nine serving 12. And there's Mooster. It wasn't a clobbering, but he was able to put it in the right spot on the floor. I like that set, though. He's going a little bit of a contra flow there, running toward that front left and back setting to Mooster. Mooster only had one guy up, and he, luckily, Rosal set it high enough so Mooster could go over the block. 13 serving nine. And that just drifts along. Mooster thought he had it. And Peter was service error number seven on the night, same as Irvine. Hawaii with the five aces, all five aces coming from Neusterer and Keone Thim. Two aces and three aces, respectively. And now Akil Tonguter with the serve. Oh, he put some extra velo on it, and it's an ace. And don't look now, Irvine back within two. The first ace of the night. Good run up. Good top spin. Another tough serve. Good pass there by Choi outside. Hakas rising high. Bit of a mismatch out there with him going up against Joe Carlos on the outside. And now we have a substitution for Hawaii as Louis Sakonoko enters the match. And not as a serving sub here. He comes in for Alakai Todd. I think it's because Alakai's been struggling on the left. So this may just be a, a one rotation play here. We'll see. Rosenthal the serve. It's a good one. Shui sends it to Grigorev off the fingertips of the block. The save by Thim. Rosenthal high balls it to Hawkes. Oh, and he gets stuffed. And Hawkes grimacing as he falls down to the floor. He's sort of shaking out that hand. You see the wrapping around the wrist and thumb area. On that right hand of Spiros Hawkes. And he's grabbing at it. Yeah, looks like he's it's probably a, a bad sprain. He got up blocking at some point. I didn't see that on his thumb the last two nights, did you? Just appeared tonight, so he probably got it in, in practice or maybe one of the matches, but he's definitely in pain, that's for sure. Grigorev in on that block. That's his fourth. Overpass is forced. Outside, Heno. Oh, some high cheddar in the direction of Trent Rosenthal. And Heno, good bit of sportsmanship there, checking on the 17-year-old setter across the net. Yeah, that was classic. Great shot by Heno. Looked like he's going to go across court, and then he just twists and turns, goes down the line, catches Rosenthal off guard. Irvine serving to try to tie this third set. Overpass by Thim. Swiped around a little bit. Now Anteater's on the attack. Good punch-up save there by Thim. High ball set goes to Hawkes. Diving save by Shuey. Well done. Carlos cross-court to Heno. Through the 
blocking out. And so a kill for Heno, who is talking to the R1 Dixon Chun. Not sure what he was upset about. Either way, when the dust settles here, it's Irvine and Hawaii tied at 14. Heno with 22 kills. This match tied at one set apiece. Hawaii passing with four receivers right now. Pass by Hawkes, tight to the net again. One hand set, Voss. Oh, nice job there by Hawaii just to keep the sequence alive. Heno handcuffs them. Some Heno heat gets Irvine to 15 points ago. It was Hawaii up four when it was 13-9. Irvine now has scored four in a row. They lead 15-14 here. Pivotal set three in this Outrigger Invitational Championship match. Out of the timeout, Rosenthal going outside. Saka no on Rhodes. Louis, Louis with his first kill. Instant offense for Sakonoko. Oh, he loves being in there, going up against his fellow Frenchman, Hilaire Heno. <laughs> They're kind of peeking at each other through the net. <laughs> Middle set. Todd, not just playing on that left side, but he's now playing middle front. 16 serving 15. Oh, and that one goes long, 71 miles an hour by Hawkes. And we're tied again. Rosenthal goes to Sakonoko on the opposite side. May have been an out ball played by Tonga Tour. Another kill for Louis. And Hawaii up by one. Charlie Wade going to the bench a couple of extra times here. Kai Taylor coming in as a serving sub. Here's Hanno. Just unstoppable. 24 kills now for Elir Hanno. Hitting well over 400. <laughs> you know, two blockers up the block. It was not well formed, though. A little bit ragged. And it's Hanno to serve. Serves it out. He has not found the calibration here this evening. Serve receivers breathe a sigh of relief. If they can get away with Keno just serving one time, they feel like they've won that battle. Here is Sakonoko. He can do some damage from the service line. The high toss. And it's an ace. Right on Keno. Seen Charlie Wade's reaction with the fist pump. A little bit reminiscent of, of Sakonoko's nine aces earlier on this year. I guess it was Tusculum. And tied UH single match record with nine aces. That was against Emmanuel. But he follows it up with the service error, trying to pull the string. Actually, I'm, I'm surprised that Hawaii hasn't gone to that short serving strategy tonight just a little bit. Especially when Hanno's in the front row. Make him come up to the net, have to pass the ball, can't get an approach. That's how uh, Lewis was so successful when they played against UC Irvine. They served that short ball inside the three meter line a lot. Another tough server here, Connor Dom. Crowd trying to get into his ear, and maybe they did. Hawaii gets to the 20-point mark. Last five points, the toughest ones to get. But the guy who was able to turn this third set around, a little smirk on his face, Keone Fim. Oh. 
What a serve. Oh, the set a little off the mark. Pinballed around. Tongu Tur gets a swing out of it and tools the block. Oh, it looked like Hawaii had the point, but Irvine able to scoop it off the terror flex. Hey, just simply give that point to Cole Power. He put up a magnificent pass off of another County Fim racket. Meanwhile, Davis Lau back on the floor in place of Cole Power. Here's the D set, Sakonoko roll shot. The save by Lau. Heno from the back row, dug up by Choi. Sakonoko lays out, made contact, but couldn't conjure up the save. And we are tied at 20. Brett Sheward at the serve. Two-hand pass there, Thim. Middle set, no stir! Straight. Picks up his uh, fifth kill on seven tries. Probably needs to be set a little bit more. That's meager compared to the 96 sets that have been set. Mooster with the serve. Heno steps up on the pass outside. Ball rattles around on the Hawaii side of the net. Here's the middle set, Gregorian, that one drifts out. No touch up front, Hawaii gets the point, they're up two. Did you see G. Voss pull his hands down there? I, I think he pulled them down to get out of the way. He didn't want to get tooled. You could tell that was an awkward set, awkward approach. Smart play. This has been a gritty battle here in set three. Heno with a nice pass. Heno gets it from the back row, the tip. Big kick saved by Sakunoko. Thin from the behind the line, and it's dug up by Shui. Here's Heno again. And unfortunately, I think David Nippon's going to pull out a challenge on the pancake by Sakunoko. Well, we'll take a look. It looked like he got it there. Place the spatula right underneath, but will the replay confirm it? Oh, yeah. That's good. What a save. Yeah, I don't think this needs to be reviewed a lot by Wayne Lee. Pretty much every angle we've seen so far has been showing that Louis Sakonoko got his hand under there. Yeah, that was some uh, original House of Pan. The decision to put Sakonoko in. Alakai Taz been playing good volleyball. His numbers are strong, but Charlie Wade deciding on a win here. Go with the gut move, putting Louie in there, and it has paid some dividends here, see I, I totally agree with you, Kano. Alakai Todd, 10 kills. He's leading the way. More kills than any of the rainbow, but he's hitting 214. That, that might be what's bothering uh Charlie is that uh, he had 28 swings more than anybody, but he's only hitting 214. So putting Sakonoko in really a roll of the dice. Good gut move by Charlie, especially in, in this set, giving him some life. Maybe knowing you got the uh, fellow Frenchman on the other side, Louis would maybe be a little more locked in, perhaps. I totally agree. Further motivated. What an incredible layout save that was to keep the point alive. Hawaii by three. Neusterer with the toss. And it goes out. Great job of Cole Power getting out of the way of that one. Smart move. Dodged it like the Matrix. Tonga <laughs> Tour's serve has caused some issues on the Hawaii side. All right, pass with four, four passers now. That's how much they respect this serve. And it goes out. And it's a low ball in the third. 
turnstile tonight, 6,923, and they stand here for the set point here in the third frame. Rosenthal sends it out. They'll remain standing. It remains a Loha ball. And Grigorev is serving. It has been a gutsy performance by UC Irvine. Down a pair of their go-to hitters. They have given Hawaii all they can handle to this point. Pass by Hawkes, pulls Rosenthal off the net. High and away to Louie! Charlie Way, that their friendship goes deep, way back. Well, certainly, UC Irvine and Hawaii, always a competitive battle, always impassioned. Uh, you're right on when you say there is distinct respect. Speaking of pancake saves, how about that one by Leu Choi? Here's Heno, and he got blocked. Stays with it. The swing by Grigorev, saved by Thim. Hawaii on the attack. Here's Hakas, roll shot, rejected by Grigorev. That's set by Rosenthal, little off the mark, c -Mac. Yeah, he, I wonder if he's the broken finger that he has, it's all taped up. I wonder if it's starting to affect his, his location, his touch. And saying that one got away from him completely. Went, instead of going to the two foot line, it went to like the eight foot line. So one serving zero here in set four. Backside is Hakas. Block slowed it down. So Shuey goes middle to Campbell. He's blocked. Tungator out to Heno. A right-handed swing by oh. Elir Heno. Okay, now we've seen it all. He's already used up his 99 shots, so he's got 100, <laughs> 100 different shots. Oh, my goodness. He's left-handed. And he just oh, got it past a Hawaii triple block. <laughs> Hitting with the right. Now he's just toying with all of us. Rosenthal keeps it on the Hawaii side. Sakonoko tried to touch it off the block. Heno, the quick reload. Block the cover there by Campbell. Shuey going right back to Heno, but it's tight to the net. Hawaii with an opportunity here. Here's Louie. Blocked back the cover there by Choi. Voss. A little pitter-patter above the tape. Louie loads up. Goes off. a pretty good vantage point from here, C-Mac, and it looked like Sakonoko went off the hands of Carlos and into the antenna. Correct. And I think that's going to be the call, but Nick Mike, he might use his challenge. We'll see. Yep, off. It was off uh, John, uh, Joe Carlos. <laughs> Pretty savvy maneuver there by Sakonoko, who now has four kills, no errors. One serving two, and Hakas almost caught his freshman teammate in the back of the dome there. So much of Hawaii's success reliant on their effectiveness or lack thereof from the service line. Voss, the behind the head set there, Rosenthal, sent back over the net. Rosenthal going outside, here's Thim. And he does a Louis Sakonoko-like maneuver. <laughs> Interesting lineup we see out there here, C-Max. No all tight. No Alaka Itad. Yep. No Chaz Galloway at the moment. You have Thim and Sakonoko out there. And for Irvine, no Darcy and no Flexen. Heno. Oh, my goodness. That was a detonation. Good set from Joe Carlos. They seem, they seem to both Joe Carlos and Chewy, they know how to set. Kind of, they pretty much get him on the money every time. Back row, Hawkes. Missed it wide. Oh, we had the floor available 
Hawkins with his sixth hitting error. Not having the typical Spiros kind of night. And a good pass here. I think I'd go back to him right away. He's hitting 111. Here's Elir Heno. Already two off of his career high in kills. Roll shot, it's an ace. His first of the evening, his 33rd on the season. Last year he had, what, 87? 87 aces, that was the single season UC Irvine record. In fact, he sits second on the all-time career aces list already at UC Irvine. And he has just been a beast here in this match. One of the things he does well is that he does that, that short serve that he will follow up after his hammer. And uh, he gets aces on it more often than not. Timeout called by the Rainbow Warriors. How would you describe what we have seen here so far tonight? Obviously, Elair Heno has been carrying the load for the Anteaters, but just overall on both sides of the net, how do you start to summarize? Well, I'd say on the bronze side of the net, I, I call it frustration. On the UC Irvine side of the net, I call it unorthodox. You know, the unorthodoxy of their nature of their lineup and everything else has, has caused Hawaii all kinds of problems in trying to adjust to, uh, you know, the 6-2 setters. He's got Joe Carlos in the front, and then he got Shui in the front, Shui hit in the right all of a sudden. I mean, it's just some weird stuff going on that's making, makes it a really, from a spectator standpoint, it's really entertaining. As far as a coach on the sideline goes, it's probably got to be really frustrating having to constantly adjust to all the nuances that are going on on the court. Well, David Niffen likes to schedule tough, and they most certainly have here this season. They come into this match having already played 15 matches against teams currently in the top 20. They're 9-6 and six in those matches. So even on a night where they're short-staffed, so to speak, they have some of those reps under their belt. High ball set to the pin. And we'll see, did it hit the pin off of Thim? I think it did. And it's an out call. It is a point for Irvine and Hawaii reeling here at the onset of this fourth set. We're gonna find a way to slow down Lear Hanno. Here he goes with a quick serve. Rosenthal gonna set up Louie. Again, the set a little off the mark. Sakunoko able to overpower the block, but came into the twine. Net violation, and it's a point for Irvine. Some of these sets for Tred Rosenthal just drifting off the mark a bit. You gotta think that his broken finger is starting to affect him a little bit. Eight serving two. Oh, he's scrambling. Thim from off the net. Dug up there by Heno. Carlos going outside, Tongu Tour with the left-hand block. Good cover there by Davis Lau. And Hawkins couldn't conjure up the save on the swing by Connor Campbell. And the Anteaters coming out like gangbusters here in set four. They get another bench warning. <laughs> They're an enthusiastic bunch, that's for sure. Well, for good reason. They're up seven here early on in the fourth. Good pass that time by Eleu. Neustar blocked and Ruth. Connor Campbell jumping up next to Brett Sheward. Turning it back. Seven straight points for the Anteaters. You can see the frustration on Charlie Wade's face right there as Shuey got part of that block. Connor Campbell got the block. Oh, that's an overpass. Tongu Tor. Knows what to do with it. Elir Heno wreaking havoc from the service line right now. I think he could use up another, use up another timeout. Oh, to slow, down, gonna, slow down Heno. Charlie Wade going to bring Alakai Todd back in. Another way to slow things down a little bit. Oh boy. It's another ace. Irvine rolling. 
Anteaters feeding up by 10. We have not seen this this season. I did not see this coming at all. I thought after the Rainbow Warriors won that third set that they'd roll here in the fourth, not to be. Rosenthal going outside, Finn off the launch pad. And it's Keone Finn retreating back to serve. He was able to change the complexion in that third frame from the service line. Well, actually, he realizes it's uh, not his turn. Alaka Itad to serve. <laughs> well, he could use a run here, though. We've seen Alaka author some of those. Tongu Tour dug up over the net. Nicely done there by Todd. Middle set, Campbell blocked and Ruth Neuster again. That's his sixth block of the night. Herb Neuster putting together a pretty complete game tonight. Got two aces, got six blocks. Five kills, no errors. Well, there's an overpass. Neustor make it six kills. And David Niffen doesn't want demonstrative advantage here early in set four, trying to even this matchup and force a fifth set for the Outrigger Invitational Championship. Malika Itad, though, helping Hawaii score three straight. Out of the timeout, Carlos going backside to Shuey, and he sends it out. No touch, but an odd decision, perhaps, by Joe Carlos going to his fellow setter, Brett Sheward. I think it was a logical one because they got, they're got they up by seven. If ever they're going to set Shuey, that's the time to set him when they're up by seven. But I think that, that uh, might be the last set Shuey. We'll see for a while. Four straight points for Hawaii. Carlos now going outside. Tongu Tur dug up by Hakas. Eliu Choi going to set up Thim from off the net. And he sends it out. No touch. And we're going to have a challenge here by Charlie Wade. He's going to say there was a touch. This is all this Hawaii attack out. No touch. Warriors are challenging touch. In real time, what do you think you saw, c -Mac? In real time, I didn't see a touch, but uh, we'll see what shows up here. Six hands to maybe touch. Hmm. Oh, that's really tough to tell. May have gotten may have gotten a fingernail there on that left hand of Connor Campbell. Yeah. Mm. Got this. Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, that's, a, that's a tough one. One more time. Oh, hurry made a decision, Blaine. Wayne Lee already made a decision. And he saw the touch. So a successful challenge by Charlie Wade and Hawaii. With a little bit of the momentum moving to their side of the net. They've scored now five in a row. Joe Carlos, high ball set to Tonga Tour, roll shot, diving save, Choi, that was pretty. Bump set, Todd from the back row, the block slowed it down. Carlos, D set to Heno, oh my goodness, how about that angle? Oh man, he had the block well formed on him and he found such great vision. Look at Choi's dig here first, to keep the rally alive. But Heno at the end just finds a way to cut that back Wrist away, sharp angle. 
That is lethal. Yeah. He just knows where the defense is lining up on through the back throw. He knows where all of them are. 28 kills. One off of his career high. At 29 earlier this season against USC. Middle set to Neuster. He's blocked. Rattled around. Todd gets a swing out of it. He's blocked. Gregorev and Tangutur turning it back. David Niffen telling us, hey, look, if we are on in our serving and passing game, we can play with anybody. They have been proving that this evening. That serve goes long, however. But they have been a team that has been very stingy and feisty from a defensive standpoint, keeping a lot of sequences alive just on sheer determination and hustle. I've been impressed with their passing. They, they're... Even though they've been aced six times, it seems like they've avoided about six other aces with, with good passes. What a serve by Thim. And it winds up out of play. Oh, that is a tough decision that Eleo Choi had to make. He's looking up at the ball. He's trying to determine where his feet are in relation to the sideline. And he let it by, and it was an ace. He's <laughs> feeling pretty good about it, too, although it was a little bit... <laughs> If I'm, if I'm his coach, I'm saying, you got to play the close ones, dude. You can't, be, you can't have microscopic, you know, distance between the line and the ball. Come on. And he definitely let out a sigh of relief yeah. after uh, that one did drift out of play. Nine serving 14. That was 73 miles an hour, but it goes long. And UC Irvine gets the 15 first in set four. They were up 10, but it's Irvine up 15-9 here in the fourth. Brett Stewart, the familiar face, in his return to the islands with the serve. Hakka's trying to touch it off the block. Saved by Shuey. Here's Tongu Tur, hop, skipping and jumping on the approach. Quick reload goes off the hands. Punched out of the net area by Carlos. Tonga Tour dug up by Choi over the net and out of play. Akil Tonga Tour is taking some very confident hacks here at this juncture of the match. He's a, he's a gamer, I'm telling you. He's really good. Great all around player. But, uh, you know, the, the fact that he's hitting the ball as hard as he is right now, good sign for Irvine the rest of the year. And that's set a little off the net there for Hakas. Gregorev trying to go with the left hand, and it works. Everything seems to be working right now for UC Irvine. Boy, hitting negative 0-5-0 this set. They lead the country in kill percentage. Yeah, they entered this match hitting 4-13 on the season. Outside, it's Hakas blasted off the hands, but... Irvine keeps it alive. Carlos D set to Hanno through the block. Saved by Todd. Outside, Hawkes. It's pinballed around on the Irvine side, and they are scrambling right now. Back row, Thim. And it's going to be a lift call. They're going to say an illegal contact there by Keone Thim. Irvine has Hawaii doubled up here in the fourth. Second and Charlie Wade going to signal for another timeout. He, if they can do so. Setting sub for Hoy. We have Kevin calling now out there for the Rainbow Warriors. Outside, it's Hawkes off the block and out. And so, Fred Rosenthal, the phenom freshman who has played so well all season. That's undeniable. But seemingly just a little off his game here, certainly with regard to location tonight. I think part of it's got to do with his, his, his broken finger. It's got to have some effect on his, his touch, I would think. 10 serving 18. Tonga Tour going to two-hand it over. Free chance here for Hawaii. Calling goes to Todd. And he ignites that one. Well, pretty good luxury there, Charlie Wade. If he does feel like a change is necessary at the center position, let's go to a guy who was an ABCA All-American 
three times over at his previous stop at Lewis. Amazing. Probably the best backup center in the country. <laughs> With all due respect to all the others, I'm not sure I have sure, all sure. of the others, but... Well, he would definitely be up there on the list. Yeah. 11 serving 18. Shuey going middle, Grigorev tears into it. Undersized middle, a little like Carl Hoagland from last year from Hawaii's team. 6'4", but he can jump. He's got a quick arm. Notice how quickly he gets up. He gets up before the block is there. Yeah, he can do a little bit of everything. In fact, he played some opposite during the stretch that Will Darcy missed to start the season. Here's Hakasol vaulting above the tank. 11 kills now for Spiros Hakas. Great set from Kevin Calling as well. Well, all these lineup changes has got to be awkward for University of Hawaii as well, having to dig deep into the bench. Shuey going to Grigorev again, obliterating that one. Some of the players on the floor aren't sure if that point was officially logged for a moment there. 20 serving 12. Calling, going to Hakas. He knows where his bread is buttered. And it's Spiros Hakas with 12 kills now to lead the Rainbow Warriors. Four hands up, Spiros finds a way to get around. Outside, here's Heno. Oh, what a dig there by Troy as he falls to the floor. From the back row, Hakas makes it work again. Hawaii showing signs of life. What a challenge. Troy with a great dig to keep the rally alive, but at the end of this rally, David Niffen's going to say that, that uh, Spinoza Hawkins was over the line, but I don't think it was even close. And the call will stand. So Niffen loses the challenge. Spiros Hoppus getting a little impatient behind the service line. He's gesturing that David Niffen needs to stop this conversation so they can continue play. Nixon Chun, the top guy, really is the one who should tell Wayne Lee, cut the conversation, play ball. So no challenges left for David Niffen. Unless we go to a fifth, they get an extra one. Hawaii still with two in its pocket. That one pops straight up in the air. Shuey going middle to Campbell. Diving save, calling. It's Choi going to Todd. High hands. Shuey punches it in the air. Tango turn with a layout save. Power will send it over the net. Advantage Hawaii. Can they catch it in? Calling to them. He couldn't get it down. Carlos chasing down the set. Tejano hits the pin. Hawaii gets the point. They're within a handful here in the fourth. The set was a little wide. Even he couldn't manufacture a kill out of that one. And now Ant Eaters signaling for a timeout. We'll keep things here. The hitters know now that they're going to be, be set the ball in the right place all the time. 15 serving 20 out of the timeout. Hakas, it's a good serve. Great pass by Tony Luter outside Heno. And he two hands it through the block as he so often does. <laughs> Another one of his unorthodox shots. That's his 29th kill. That matches his career high. <laughs> Calling, going backside to Todd. Rips it through the hands. Good effort there by Carlos. But Todd gets the kill. That's his 12th put down. The two setters. Meeting up there as Shuey helps Carlos back to his feet. 
Joe Carlos, an interesting story. Spent two seasons at Pepperdine before heading to UC Irvine. And the guy who was the incumbent setter and had a conversation with David Niffen about the idea of Brett Schuert joining the program as Hino gets kill number 30. But uh, David Niffen, to his credit, he said, hey, look, I wanted to make sure that Joe Carlos was on board with it. And after giving him a night to think about it, Joe Carlos said, hey, look, we need to get him. That's what would be best for the team. What a great team player. You know, you got you got to love it. Every coach wants to have like six Joe, Joe Carlos yeah. on their team. Hawkes going to set Todd. Three blockers waiting for him. Rattled around. Free ball coming over the net. Calling with the first touch. So the set goes outside the fim. Off the hands. Hanno the save. Carlos going to Elir on the D set. And he can just from anywhere on the floor, hit just about any angle imaginable. And he passed that ball from back middle and called for a set on the back right. <laughs> he just seems to be getting stronger. He's not getting weaker as the night goes on. He's getting stronger. I mean, he's drifting to his right yep. and still going wrist away with tempo, yep. with pace. Outside, here's Thim. The wind-up uncoils and uncorks it long. And it's a Loha ball for Irvine here in the fourth. A fifth set seems imminent. Heno to force a fifth. Oh, Hawaii out of system, bump set, Thim, two blockers up, they slow it down. Irvine touching everything on the block. Campbell tries to go wrist away, missed it wide, point for Hawaii. So it's not Pau yet here in the fourth, but an extremely tall hill to climb here. Azalakai Todd will retreat back to serve. Todd loops it over. Carlos going to Heno. The tip drops. Elir Heno. Tournament type of setting. Some elite level volleyball. Alaka Todd on the floor. Keone Thim back to serve. One set for the outrigger title. Pass by Power is a beauty. Middle set, Grigore dug up by Thim. Rosenthal sets outside to Hawkes and he gets it home. Boy, Spiros is in a little early, had to back up and do a standing jump there. <laughs> Shaking his head like, what is going on? He's got 14 kills, he's hitting 222, go along with seven digs and three blocks, one serving zero. Thim, wow. How about that pass by Power? Outside, and Lear gets blocked. Oh, a little scramble play and miscommunication between Power and Shuey. Drops to the floor, Hawaii gets the point. How about, how about Thim just serving up a bullet and Power just pops it right up? Twice. Cole Power is something fierce. Yeah, he's really good, really good player. Two serving zero here in the fifth. Even Cole Power couldn't catch up with that one. Three serving zero. Gets it in again. Heno's gonna get the set on the outside. Dug up by Troy. Troy trying to keep it alive after that second touch by Hawkes. And it's a point for Irvine. Another kill for Elir Heno. He has 33. Eleu Troy, by the way, with 10 digs. You know who else has 10 digs? Keone Thim to go along with his five service aces. Oh, amazing. That one scraped the tape. Outside, it's Hawkes off the block, hand down. Great 
great pass by Keone Finn. Ken Rosenthal put up a nice hittable ball for Spiros Hawkins, and Hawkins did the rest. Boy, he did only .081 in the fourth set. One of the reasons why they lost. You see her by hitting 300. Hurt and loose to her. Four serving one. Schuer going high and away to Hanno. Blocked. Got his own cover. From behind the line, Hanno off the block. A standing vert jump swing that didn't look like he put much on it at all. Still results in a kill. He just got the magical hand tonight. He rarely do anything wrong. He's only got a couple of errors. Oh, but an out serve by Joe Carlos. And a free point in the fifth for Hawaii. You cannot give up three points in a set five. Now Tred Rosenthal replaced in that fourth set, but brought back out here for the fifth. Gets the serve in. Carlos going quick middle to Campbell. It was a bit of a side swipe swing, but still got it down. And now Elir Heno will serve for Irvine. This is one guy where if he got an H right away, I'd call timeout immediately to slow him down, his, his momentum, his rhythm. The only thing with the bump set. Oh, Todd has to two-hand it over. Free chance here for Irvine. A little bit of an overpass there by Lau, though. Dug up over the net. Oh, great job by Hawkins to try to keep it alive there. Well, they're going to say that it was out of play, and so a uh, point for Irvine. And Chaz Galloway going to re-enter the match here, replacing Keone Thim, who hears it from the fans. So Charlie Wade going back with the original starting rotation. Four serving five in the fifth. Pass by Choi, Rosenthal. Gonna set up Hawkins, three blockers against him and he still gets the kill. It was Joe Carlos trying to dig it, may have been an out ball. Yeah, I, th I thought it was an out ball, but Joe Carlos might have thought it touched the block maybe or something, so that's why he played it. What a battle this has been. Irvine showing so much grit. Hawaii on a night where they haven't had their A game, still trying to somehow rip away a victory. Heno blocked. Oh, what a save there on the cover by Power. Tongu Tor winds up, goes through the triple block and down. Well, you see Irvine's really battling. Well, let's take a look at power save first. That keeps the rally alive. And Tonga Tour finishes it, but they've really been effective at just going up and, like, tooling the block and just working it. Block, even though Hawaii's block has been fairly effective tonight, they have more blocks than you see Irvine, but they have a lot of blocks that have slipped through. And yeah, 13 blocks for Hawaii compared to nine for the Anteaters. Dom to serve into the net. And Hawaii up two. Remember, these two teams met up in the Big West Tournament Championship match last year. Hawaii won 3-1. Hawaii had a season best 17 blocks in that match. And while they put up some good blocking numbers tonight, overall, you're right, C-Mac. Irvine's been able to still squeak past it a number of occasions. How about the set to Shuey with in-system and Brett Schuer with a little extra pepper on it? Oh, it was pretty gutsy by Joe Carlos there. But he knew that Joe, that uh, Shuey would have only one blocker up because all the tension is being paid to the middle. Uh, that one just rolled over the tape. That set goes over the net. But Todd able to catch it before it went across. At least that's the initial call. And I think David Niffen, who gets an extra challenge here because of the fifth set, is considering doing so. Uh, but maybe he... And now Andin Kiriakou comes into the match replacing Joe Carlos. So a more traditional pin hitter. 
now on the floor here for Irvine. And Brett Sheward remains as the setter. It is eight serving six. Alaka Itad to serve. A marathon match here to finish out the outrigger. Hino, that pass goes over the net. And out. It's an ace for Alaka. point for Hawaii. Make the turn 8-6 and then get the first point after 8-6. Big time play from Molokai. Nine serving six. Molokai taking a little something off that time. Grigorev. Welcome back, Kurt Neuster. What a match he's had. Six kills, hitting 500. Just got his eighth block to put Hawaii up four here in set five. Todd out of the timeout. Shuey going quick middle. Grigorev is blocked. And it's going to be a roof. It's Neuster again, jumping up next to Rosenthal. Who would have thought Neuster's blocking would turn this fifth set around? Yes. Kurt Neusterer and Rosenthal impenetrable as Hawaii has scored four in a row. They're up a handful here in set five. And a hot serve that time by Todd. And a hot swing by Kiriakou. My goodness, making his first appearance of the season. And quite the introduction right there. From Ajax Northwest, Ontario, Canada. A little glimpse at the future of UC Irvine volleyball, perhaps, as he heads back to the bench. That was a great swing by, by him. Tonga Tur to serve. Pass by Choi. Rosenthal has to chase it down. It's top three blockers waiting, and he sends it out. Was there a touch? No touch. Eight serving 11 in the fifth. And Charlie Wade going to signal for a timeout. Well, it's Oscar night, and you couldn't have asked for a better screenplay <laughs> here for a final match. Taking time to talk to Chaz Galloway. A lot of pressure being put on Chaz Galloway, being reinserted back into the match after having sat out for the majority of the match. Really trying to get him up to speed with passing, trying to make sure that he is comfortable with the passing. Another thing that happened during the last time was we're seeing a lot of leadership uh, direction by Spiros Hakas, really talking, talking to his teammates, uh, trying to encourage him, trying to get them to calm down, really showing his senior leadership. Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Hawaii by three. Akil Tongutur's serve has caused some trouble on the Hawaii side. That one scrapes the tape. Rosenthal going back row. Hawkins! See you, Livers! Didn't you say that he got a, that Rosenthal got instructions from Charlie to serve, to set this guy a lot? Smart coaching, Charlie. Keep setting Hawkins. And now Keone Finn brought back in to serve here for Hawaii. 12 serving eight. And it's a good one. A freebie. Oh, as that one was an out ball played by That was way out. Give Gregorev credit for just trying to force Hawaii into a decision there. He's got so much adrenaline pumping, though. I'm not sure. He's, he was just going to take any ball wherever it is in the court. Now Gregorev with the serve into the string. And Hawaii back up four. And it's Kurt Neustor. It's been a Neustor kind of night here in Manoa. Pass by Tom Latour, tight to the net, middle set, Campbell punched up by Hawkes. The set by Todd to Hawkes. Oh, and it's dug up there by Shuey. Outside, Heno's gonna punch it deep. Diving save, Thim. Diving save, Neustor. And we play on in the sequence. Outside, Heno. Two hands down the line and in. Helir Heno, relentless. He's got 
that's such amazing vision, but how about the scrappiness by Hawaii's defense to keep that rally alive? And one dive there from Finn, another dive there from Nusra. Hawaii still by three, and Trent Rosenthal catching him off guard. The freshman center with a big time ad lib. First time he's been offensive tonight. That should give him some confidence going back to the serving line. And just under 7,000 rise. Aloha ball for the match. And for the outrigger invitational title. Carlos going backside. Heno. Oh, he is a mutant. 36 <laughs> kills for this guy. Amazing. Now he goes back to serve, and he's made him be a better server than he is an attacker. Perhaps, right, better be careful here. Perhaps the most unique player in all of college volleyball, Elir Heno. 11 serving 14. It's still a low ball. Down the line, the pass by Hawkes. Rosenthal back to Spiros. Blocked and roofed. And Spiros goes down. And he's clutching at his left knee. Oh, and that is about the last thing that Hawaii fans want to see is Spiros Hakas down in pain. It is absolutely silent here in the arena. You can hear a pin drop. Spiros being helped up. Unable to put weight on that left leg. He was clutching at the knee. We are going to show the replay. We warn you, this could be difficult to watch. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, ouch. And Spiros Hawkes who has helped to raise the level of this program in his time here. At any given moment, has been consistently the best player on the floor. And concern now for his health, as he is going to be looked at, and that is going to be a major storyline following this match. But Hawaii is still trying to accomplish the objective here in this match. It is still Aloha Ball. Watch for a serve, probably go to the his substitute. And it's an ace by Heno. Luis Sakonoko in there in place of Hakas. And he couldn't handle his fellow countrymen through our broadcast and post game tonight or beyond. But right now, Hawaii trying to finish the deal. It's still Aloha Ball. Heno to serve. Pass by Thim. Rosenthal to Voss. The set was low. Pinballed around. Tonga Tor's going to get a swing out of it. Off the high hand, saved by Thim. Advantage Hawaii. Voss gets it down. And Hawaii wins. The Rainbow Warriors claim the outrigger title and they do so by way of a knockdown drag out. tempered a bit by what we saw with Spiros yeah I didn't really see it um, we'll see we'll obviously uh, take a look at it and uh, hopefully he's okay talk about this match though it was a typical Big West match it didn't count in the standings but both teams acted like it did well, they all count. It's not like it was an exhibition. Well, I'm talking about conference counted. standing. Yeah, you're playing for a, a tournament championship, and it's uh, it was two really good teams going at it. And uh, you know, I, I never seen one guy just take over like that. That was impressive. You know, and even there in the fourth set from the service line, uh, yeah, there was no doubt he was good early and often. How much did their six-two kind of throw you for a loop? Eh, it was just the timing of it, right? And it was a little, they, they really were forced in the middle early and uh, to some success. You know, then in the middle there, we kind of got the timing down a little bit. But Heno, we never really stopped him. He was really good, he was predictable as it was. Um, so, yeah, thrilled to get the win, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys.
at all. Thanks a lot, Scott. And so Charlie Wade reserving any kind of specific comment on Spiros Hakkas. Obviously, a lot of information uh, remains uh, to be gathered here. And so uh, we will most certainly, uh, hey, look, we, we do these broadcasts uh, on behalf of Spectrum Sports and, and certainly uh, with regard to University of Hawaii sports as a whole. And so uh, we have no shame in terms of expressing our desire uh, to see uh, Spiros Hawkes be okay. And I think I'm speaking for our entire crew when we say uh, we are most certainly sending the positive vibes and prayers his way. Uh, he is uh, such an incredible player and such a good dude uh, that I think I'm speaking for everybody when we say that we hope uh, it is not too serious. And if it is, uh, we hope that a speedy recovery is uh, on the other side. Uh, that said, CMAC, uh, you have Spiros Hakkas, who we are told uh, officially has been named the most outstanding player in this tournament. Uh, that will be a bittersweet honor, perhaps, depending on what we learn. Uh, UC Irvine is the tournament runner-up uh, by virtue of the tiebreaker system. Uh, I will give you the last thought here on what was a roller coaster ride of emotions here this evening yeah, in Manoa. Yeah, it really was. It was uh, a match.